Welcome back. It's episode 10. First of all, I'd like to preemptively apologize that this audio is probably going to be pretty bad. Probably as bad as the first episode was. Although the first one was due to the laptop being loud. This one, uh, we have our AC on now, so and I don't have any control over it. So, uh, you're going to have to deal with the AC sound. So, I apologize for that. But, um, I might finish this this episode. I'm not sure how much is in, how much is left in this game. Because Elos is the last mission, I believe. So, let's see if I can finish it. Alright. We're, uh, following Sarah into the archives. Which is... There? Yes. Alright, there's a bunch of enemies up here. Let's go. Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe there aren't that many enemies. What are these? These look like Cthulhu. <laughs> Wait, I went the right way, right? Yeah. Oh, that's annoying. I, I hold on. I just I gotta flip my headphones around. I need new headphones because I could barely hear the dialogue. I think one side of my headphones stopped working. Oh, that would explain why my mic doesn't work anymore. This this thing sucks. I'm using half a headphone right now. I have to get doings before I continue the series. I don't want to miss out on dialogue from the next couple of games. I might take a break before I do Mass Effect 2. I might play something else, but I'm not sure. Hold on, I'm going to turn this up. Ooh. Pretty interesting looking. I have spent my life studying the Protheans, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Hey, try to remember why we're here. Terran, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy. I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. I just hope we have the opportunity to study this place in detail after this is done. Mm, I doubt it. Sarah would have set some kind of trap or ambush for this. They must have been in too much of a hurry. Or we just have yet to run into it. This is a huge empty room. Not even any enemies? Why, why is this hallway so long? Holy crap. Was I supposed to get in the... Was I supposed to get in the, uh... The Mako? Or would, would, not, would it not have fit in here? feel like we're reaching the end. This one might be pretty short then if, if we're ending soon. Um, maybe I'll just just screw around in the Citadel then if the video ends up being like 20 minutes. Okay, I'm convinced I was supposed to take the Mako, and I'm just stupid. Should I go back? <laughs> I really don't know if I should go back or not. You know what? I think I might. 
But I'm gonna be real mad if I, I go back and I, I can't get the Mako in here. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry for this. This is probably not interesting to watch whatsoever. So, viewers, what have you played recently? Watched anything interesting recently? Trying to trying to vamp because this is uh, not interesting to watch. Um, you excited for E three to come back this year? I certainly am. I was sad they got canceled last year, and we had that stupid IGN summer of gaming thing. Apologies if you're a fan of IGN, which I'm not sure how many of those are left. This is a. Uh, this is some compelling gameplay. Some real interesting stuff here. Yeah, we got a we got a as of right now we got a few weeks left until E3. So I don't want to get my hopes up too high because I that's people been doing that they do that every E3 people. Um, hype it up is like there's going to be so many reveals and there's it's all it's almost always kind of disappointing and especially after uh, after what happened last year I think um, a lot of development got pushed and delayed so I don't expect a ton of new things to be announced and if they are there's probably nothing close but uh I don't know. For the rest of the year, I'm I'm looking forward to whatever the new Battlefield is. I hope it's not bad. And then Halo is probably still my most. In yeah, I'm an idiot. I could have taken this. Oh well. All right, now we're talking. I would have been here all day. They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Oh, I was wondering if anything was going to attack us. I'm getting um, end of Halo 1 vibes. When you escape the ring as it's exploding with the warthog, but I mean nothing is really it, nothing is exploding right now, obviously. What is that? What is happening? Whoa! Uh oh. Come on. I, I think this thing's down for the count. Oh no. Can I get out of it? kidding me. I came all the way down here and I can't even get out. Really? Oh my gosh. Wait. 
I feel stupid. I just hold A. I think I have to get out now. Where are you, Saren? This is this is lovely getting no audio on my right side. Vigil. Huh? You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. <laughs> it looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination <laughs> on any taint. of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass mm -hmm. river, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through and all you know will be destroyed. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the relay is activated and the Reapers invade. So those, scanning those Keepers was for a reason then, it seems. If he turns on the relay, the Reapers can wipe out the Council and the Citadel fleet in one fell swoop. <laughs> that was our size. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. It's a big the exposition Citadel, dump. Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data, information. It's the second time this happened. They knew everything about us. Earlier, we had that AI give they us a big expo dump. Across every several region of the galaxy, some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered. Their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control taken in as refugees by other Protheans. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely, they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. 
Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon, it is a backdoor onto the Citadel. Go on. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable part. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the, the Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each inv after decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the Conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Mm, Sovereign I assume they succeed the in this, and manually considering the, the second and third game. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop it? Ah, There's a data give me a seizure. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, it will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destiny. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity <laughs> There's of no time. It might know something useful. I will provide whatever information I can. My data banks, however, are limited to information directly related to stopping the Reaper invasion. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as a well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination. Or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals when the Protheans altered the Citadel signals. They broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Sovereign must have realized that organic races were... A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more. No, I didn't mean to click. That. I've got the file. Come on. The one you call Saren has not reached the. Sometimes when I skip it. Not yet. 
there is no I'm gonna have a time. seizure. Save the Citadel. To stop him from transferring control of the Citadel, so okay. I assume the second game is like this, the dark second chapter. All their it's like the Empire Strikes Back. And the Pothians were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. They failed. The Prothians did not fail. They gave us a chance. It falls to us to make the most of it. So I suggest we hurry. Oh, did he shut it down? Wait, which way is it? Is it this way? Is that something that my something's doing something weird on my computer? Uh, trench run. Yeah, it's totally like freaking end of Halo One. Do I still have it on resolution? Oh, I do. There we go. Now it's 60 FPS. Come on, stupid thing, back up. Ah, this thing cannot drive backwards or turn around very well. What is happening with music right now? You hear that? What the heck is going on with the music? It's like da -da 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 -da. It's completely screwed up. Yeah, the music's all screwed up. It's probably the frame rate. Let me go back. That's weird that I would cause that problem. This this game has had some pretty bad bugs. EA should fix it. Man, it's still doing it. That's terrible. Sorry about that. You have to listen to that crap. That's awful. Crap, EA, all you had to do was remaster these games. 
Shouldn't be that hard. Oh. The conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these gaps aren't gonna make it easy on us. Oh snap. Holy crap, that's sovereign, right? I mean, I think there's a ton of those ships in the second game. Is this why there's no Citadel in the second? Or as far as I know, it's not in the second and third game, which means... Because I think it gets destroyed here. It's a race. Just gonna ignore all of you. Bye. Holy crap. Can it do that? It just launched me out of... It launched my car into basically hyperspace, right? Critical failure is detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. Wow. Well, I guess that's the end of that. Maybe I should, no, I should have made another save because I don't know if I can... I don't know if there's any more exploring the other planets now. Oh no! It's killing the keepers. The Citadel's club. Oh, was that supposed to cut off? Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms. Oh man! Ooh, space battle. Don't freeze on me now. Jeez. Their ships look like a giant uh, cuttlefish. What is 
kids are doing. Are his artificial gravity off now? And does he have like grav boots? Or magnetic boots? I really like that helmet design. have a save that's before elo yeah i don't that sucks yeah so if i ever if i want if i wanted to go back and do those other side missions i didn't know i i didn't know if that this was going to end with a citadel probably blowing up so i can't go back and do that stuff well there's always the next playthrough Can I not kill them when they're in stasis? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. They're both dead. Krogan. Beyblade.
keep forgetting I have to aim, be right on them when I use that. It's got to be close to the end, right? Try your face. Oops. Guys are getting dead again. Where am I going? Exhaust plane. Came from that way, right? Holy crap, I hate the stupid Krogans. Do I possibly have anything else? Three thirty. I think that's my best gun. Say for this. Yeah, final battle, so this is the end. Oh, there you are.
guys, take cover from those turrets. Or not, Liara. And weave, bob and weave. Yikes. Ah! Crap. If this ends up going over an hour, I probably will just do it just because it's probably the last one. Oh, how far back did I go? Yeah, that's where I'm going, right? save it all. I really wish it would let me save here. No? I'm not in combat right now, game. At least the AC's off. It's been off for a while. Oh, that's annoying.
Get in cover, Shepard. I guess that's not cover. Can't I save it here? Get down! Man, the cover system blows. Two out of, I don't know how many turrets. Please let me save game. Is that it for the turrets? Please tell me it is. I think it might be. Uh. I like their weird, like, hexagonal shields. What's this? Wait, where's that medical kit?
Man, the Citadel's screwed. I mean, I understand why the game doesn't tell you, hey, like some games do that. It's like, hey, you. It's like, once you get past this certain story point, you can't return here. But I feel like if they did that, it would kind of tell you that, hey, the Citadel's gonna be destroyed. Where'd he go? I knew it, he's on his stupid green goblin glider again. I bet we're gonna kill him, but then his they're still gonna continue like his plan's still gonna go forward. Dumb, like, green goblin sled thing. Can I use these while on on him? Yikes. Wow, they were, they were, hard. holy crap. How am I supposed to deal with all of them and Saren? Get in cover, freaking shepherd. All right, I'm dead. This. How do I do this when there's so many geth? It it would help if my teammates didn't die like instantly. I don't know why their health is so light. Again, in my first playthrough, I probably missed a thing that lets me update or upgrade their health. Let me see if I can do that now. Oh, look at my paragon. That's good. Holy crap! Okay, I'm stupid. Why is their health so low? Is there a, a reason for that? Let me find some better armor That's something I didn't really do in my playthrough is buy buy armor or 
because I like his his like standard armor from the the cover of the art the art the, uh, the cover of the game. I don't like this, but I probably can buy better ones that look the same. I don't know. Yeah, they need better stuff too. I don't know, their health is so low that I don't know if this is even going to do anything. See, Saren's already dead. Er, not Saren. Garrus. No! Holy rockets, Batman. Yikes. Get into cover. Really? No! Son of a... Come on! but it's okay. Holy crap. Ugh, please die. Stop using your effing shields, bro. Get up! 
Oh, man, I was so close to dying there. I thought I'd have to do that again. Wow. Oof, look at that chart of glass. Rip. Well, this plan is still going to succeed, I assume. Oh, I hate their armor. I don't like how that looks. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. <laughs> Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down. See if you can open a communications channel. Main drives offline. Man, imagine playing this at the time er, and you didn't know there was two more games. You would just assume that this is it. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. I caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel. All right, Seth Green. Are you really willing to sacrifice human lives to save the Council, Shepard? No. This is bigger than humanity. Maybe. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. The Council must be sacrificed. Oh, for the great. They're going to make me do this. Don't waste your reinforcements. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up. Save the human fleet to attack Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Oh, no. No. Don't make me choose this. I don't want to make... Wait. Wait until those arms open, Joker. We need all our ships focusing on Sovereign, even if it means sacrificing the Council. A sacrifice for the greater good. I hope it didn't ruin my relationship with her. All Alliance ships, home formation. Wait for a shot at Sovereign. Nothing else matters. I repeat, Sweet, Lance Henriksen. And look at the scale of this. Open a comm channel. This is the ascension. We are taking heavy damage. Guardian defenses are over. Kinetic barriers are offline. Commander. This game is has been oh, the whole time it's been pretty ambitious for 2007. Remember when, do you remember when full uh, price games had this much content? Yeah. That was a great time. Make sure he's dead. I would have done that immediately and not wait this long. Don't. Don't come back and kill them, I'll be mad. Double tap. Triple tap. He's dead. What? I, j I just, I jinxed it. I just said, I hope he doesn't come back. What is happening? No way. 
Wait. I am sovereign, and this station what? Is I just got plus Paragon points and... And, uh... Renegade. <sighs> I thought I was good there when I killed him. Great. I hate when these things jump around anyway, and now I have to deal with Saren doing it. At least he's not really shooting at me. Oh no. Please stop, Saren. I wish I had more than one um, uh, Metagel. Crap! Oh my gosh, use a different gun. No, 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 don't get your shield back, don't get your shield back. Crap. Uh. 
Please die. Wait, what does Marksman do? No, don't send any more geth. Jerk. Wait, he's dead, isn't he? Third time. <sighs> why did the, why did this time it kill him though? If the first time glass didn't, and now just a bunch of bullets did. just for one of those ships when the third game has tons of them. Out, they're going to need a much bigger fleet. Go. I only know that the third game has those that many ships because I've seen like the artwork and stuff and trailers, but I haven't played it. This is the longest ending ever. <laughs> Who's that? Yeah, where is he? Such weird camera work in this game. Hey, there he is. Is that it? That's... We got your message, Ambassador. What's all this about? No need to get worked up, Captain. I'd like to end this meeting with all my teeth still in place. You should thank me for what I did. If the Normandy was still grounded, we'd all be dead right now. I understand, Captain. You did what you had to do. That's not why you're here. 
This is gonna end up being like an hour and a half, like the first episode. Commander Shepard did the right thing. We had to hold our fleet. He looks weird in camo. I don't like it. It was the only way. I agree, but this also presents us with an opportunity. The Citadel fleets were decimated in the attack. Their losses have made the Alliance stronger. They can't rebuild without us. We need to take the lead in forming a new council, one with a human chairman at its head. I can see the other races inviting us to join the council, but lead it? That's a whole different story. The yeah, that's crazy. The are scared. They've never faced anything like this before. They don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. They believe in us because of you, It is weird that the humans were never on it before. The galaxy from suffering. You're a symbol of everything good about humanity. Courage, our strength. Oh, that you see pop back on. Sorry. The ambassador's right. The other races look up to us now. They won't just accept our leadership. They'll welcome it. Given everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our council chairman should be. Oh. I'm gonna go with Anderson. We're about to go into war. We need someone with military experience. Someone like Captain Anderson. You make a good case. Captain, are you ready for this? I don't know if any of us are ready for this, but I'll do what I can. So what happens now? I think we're just getting started. It's like the end of Halo 1. The Reapers are still out there. They're coming. And I'm going to find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. We're headed for war with the Reaper. If we lose, it's the Man, end what of a all life as we know. If this is really how it ends, what a cliffhanger that people had. No wonder Mass Effect 2 is so big. With the support Everyone wanted to see what happened next. We can win this battle. With them behind us, we can stand against the Reaper's return and drive them back into darkness. Wow. That's it, right? Why are we doing a slow zoom in on him? That was kind of strange. Man. What a journey. What a game. Casey Hudson. Man, that was great. That was fantastic. Oh, Drew Carpetian. He's the one that should be working at Lucasfilm right now because he wrote uh, a lot of those beloved novels. But great job on everyone's part with this game. It, I can't believe how the scale of this game for 2007. It's extremely ambitious and again I don't know how it compares to the original maybe one day I'll go back and play it even though it's kind of janky but I, I went in not knowing what to expect from this game and calling me very impressed uh, I, I have heard that this has the best story of the three which if that's true I mean it wouldn't surprise me but also that does suck that, that that's the best story. I mean, no, I'm not saying it's bad, but like if if it's peaked already in the first game, the combat gets better in two and three. I've heard, but I've heard the story is best in one. But I, I, I'll make that uh, decision, or I'll find that out myself when I play it. But man, round of applause for Bioware when they were still good. I, I don't know if there's like an end credit scene, but I'm not going to make you all sit here and watch it because I'm already at an hour and 20. I'm a little bit confused because there's this thing called... Um, where is it? Bring Down the Sky mission? I don't know what that is. Is it after the game? Or after the credits? I don't know. But I missed some stuff, obviously, like completing the game, or the majority of the game, or whatever. 
than that. But up oh, definitely played again. So, like I said, I think I might take a break before I start to do something else, but overall, I, I obviously I'm not gonna I don't wanna rate it immediately. I gotta think about it and process it, but extremely, extremely good. It felt like the best Star Trek game that wasn't Star like it was the closest we'll get to a very good Star Trek game, I feel like. Had that had very trekky vibes. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you guys have stayed uh, and watched all of this, all ten parts, I'm glad it was a nice um, round number. Just just ten. No, didn't go up to eleven or twelve. Oh, Jack Wall did the music. Interesting. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you guys continue to watch when I do Mass Effect two and three. So uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Oh, wait, by the way, Lance Hendrickson, I was right. Okay, bye. <laughs>